Hey everybody, it's Trent again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew for a puppet uh, using my technique. Uh, there are probably others that may work better, uh, but I like to use a baseball stitch. Uh, some people like to use a ladder stitch or what's often referred to as the Henson stitch, but I haven't had much luck with it because I'm not that good. But uh, this works just as well, and uh, for at least certain types of projects. And so let's get started. Okay, let's. There we go. All right. Now, what I've got here is I've got some fleece, uh, and this is anti-pill fleece. Uh, the lighting is kind of throwing it off there. Let me adjust that slightly. There we go. But uh, you can see that we've got a fuzzy side and a smooth side. And so what I do is I line my seam up, fuzzy side in. Uh, so whatever side you want on the outside, we'll start with it inside. Uh, all, you can do this one same. Um, uh, you can do this one without doing it reversed. Uh, it's just easier if you do it this way. And then we take. Now, for the purposes of this process, I'm using a black thread, uh, so it'll stand out more against what we've got here. And let me see if I can get this camera a little bit closer here. Ooh. There, enjoy my keyboard. There we go. A little blurry, but gets the point across. Okay, and so... Thread your needle. like so. And then wherever you're starting your stitch, loop through both of them at the edge. Now normally you would be using a matching color thread, but this is just so it'll stand out better on the video. And I just loop it once, then slide it through. and knot it to tie it off. From there, what you do is you slide from inside surface to out, catching only one side of the actual fabric with each pass. So go back and forth back and forth. You want to keep these relatively tight, but you never want to cross back over them because that will cause problems later. So you never want to, to double up. But what you see, see coming together here is like the stitches on a baseball. Now the advantage of this will be readily apparent in a moment. Now I'm just going to do a short length. Do about an inch, inch and a half in this fashion. It's a nice repeating pattern here. Okay, I lost the thread, but that'll do. And so here we've got, it doesn't do the close-ups that well, but you can see that, uh, that process there. You can see how the, the thread loops. Then you lay it down flat, you take the loose side of the thread, on, just, we can't get a little bit better of an angle on that. And then while pressing and holding down, you pull it tight. Now this will cinch the two sides together and when you look at the other side, the seam is almost completely invisible. Uh, you can go in with a needle, pick that out, uh, and it will just barely show up on camera depending on how your lighting setup goes. Uh, then all you have to do is every couple of inches of this, when you do a, when you pull it tight, hang on just a moment.
once again on the back side you just do a single whip stitch that goes through both sides and then another one that you knot through and that'll keep it from coming loose on you and you just continue that down along the length of your seam and now this works best with an anti-pill fleece where you can where the uh, the fuzz will help cover up the stitch but you can even make it difficult to see on the smooth side too uh, if this was the same color if this thread was the same color as this fleece you would just barely be able to notice that and that's how I do it <laughs>